Hey, what's up with you? You gotta help me! I've been bitten by a poisonous animal! My leg is swelling up! I can't walk and I'm in incredible pain! You got bitten by a poisonous animal? That doesn't make any sense. A poisonous animal biting you wouldn't do anything. Do you mean a venomous animal? We don't have time for this! Please call the emergency services! I'm dying! So before we get into this, we need to get one thing straight. Venom and poison are two different things. When you eat something and it has toxins inside of its body that you consume when you eat it, that is a poisonous animal. When something cuts you and puts a toxin inside of you, that would be a venomous animal. That being said, this video contains both types of toxic animals and I will be switching back and forth between the two. Venomous animals are thought to be more common than poisonous animals because if your defense mechanism requires you to get at least partially eaten before it does anything, it's not that good of a survival mechanism. Got that out of the way? Okay, cool, let's go. First up is the poisonous cane toad. The cane toad produces a toxin called bufotenin, which it uses to ward off predators. Some cane toads are so potent that they can even end a large alligator if it eats them. What makes this toad poison so special is that this toxin is actually extremely powerful as a psychoactive substance. People have reported using this by milking the glands of the toad and then using the resulting poison as a recreational and spiritual aid. Whenever you see someone licking a toad and tripping out in a movie, this is what they're referring to. Keep in mind, the people who use this actually use a tiny fraction of the venom, so it's still pretty easy to end yourself with this. Effects of toad venom include, but are not limited to, pupil dilation, confusion and disorientation, physical euphoria or dysphoria, visual and audio distortions, and potentially complete out-of-body experiences. Whenever I see a strange thing that humans consume, I always wonder, like, what was the first guy thinking that discovered it? First human who lit leaves on fire and inhaled them discovered lung disease, First human to pull on the fleshy udder of a cow and drink what comes out should never be allowed near children. And the first human to look at cane toad probably invented religion. The next animal on this list is the platypus, a mammalian egg-laying duck-billed venomous monstrosity of cuteness. Bet you weren't expecting that. The platypus is the unholy result of a duck and a beaver sharing a hotel room and three bottles of wine and some alone time. While you might know this animal from its battles with Dr. Doofenshmirtz on Phineas and Ferb, it may shock you to know that these fights are actually scientifically inaccurate. In reality, Perry would be injecting Dr. Doof with incredibly painful and possibly lethal venom. Male platypuses have venomous spurs on their back feet that they use mostly to fight each other for females. Females are also born with these spurs, but they fall off before adulthood. While platypuses are usually non-aggressive, there have been cases where they have stung humans. This results in pain and swelling so severe that the person can be incapacitated for several days or even weeks. I'm willing to bet one crisp, never been snorted out of before, actually 90% of US dollar bills have traces of coke on them so I can't make that guarantee, $5 bill, that there is a human being alive that's into some furry stuff, some foot stuff, and some knife stuff, who consistently fantasizes about getting repeatedly stung by a platypus. I wouldn't be surprised if that person tried to engage in their fantasy IRL. I bit the bullet and looked it up and found no results. To be fair, I didn't really want to dig very deep because I have no idea what kind of watch list that stuff gets you on. Next up are poison dart frogs. I know this animal is on every video about poisonous animals, but I love them and I wanted to draw them and make jokes about them, so I'm including them. Each species of poisonous dart frog carries a varying amount of the toxin, and the most toxic poison dart frog is the golden poison dart frog. While most poison dart frogs don't have enough toxin on the skin to take down a human that simply touches it, this is not the case for the golden dart frog. The reason poison dart frogs have dart in their name is that people coated projectile darts in their toxins so they could use it biological warfare style. I like to imagine what would happen if instead of this amphibious toxin, people used the toxin from the cane toad, picking off their enemies from a distance in order to create mass psychedelic induced hysteria and straight up MK Ultra the opposing force. Next up is the venomous Brazilian wandering spider. The venom of this spider can cause death due to paralysis and asphyxiation. These spiders are notorious for wandering into bunches of bananas and then getting shipped off to another country to be sold to unsuspected banana enthusiasts.
enthusiasts at grocery stores. This venom also causes priapism. Priapism means that you get a hard-on that lasts until the moment the venom does you in, and rigor mortis could make it stay that way in the open casket. While there is an anti-venom for this spider, it's probably harder to find if you're anywhere other than Brazil. Last upon our list, among other fish, is the straighted surgeon fish. This fish contains the third most powerful organically created toxin in the world. This toxin affects multiple types of fish, and it's responsible for 20,000 to 50,000 resulting cases of poisoning each year. The resulting food poisoning is so bad that it can be compared to multiple sclerosis. To top it all off, the toxin cannot be removed by cooking, and it can last from weeks to years. So you better be sure that that's tuna, or you're spending the rest of your life on the toilet like Elvis Presley, except it's extended by 20 years. So what did we learn today? Dope. So did, did you like that? Are, are you gonna subscribe? Here's a sticker, I'll bill you later. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell. Drop me a like, it really helps out the channel. I got a sticker shop, Discord, Insta, all that stuff in the description. Before I go, I actually have pretty big news for the cult. We just got monetized. I wanna thank every single one of you who supported this channel by either subscribing, liking the videos, commenting the videos, or sharing them around. Because one full 10 month pregnancy term ago, by the way, babies take 10 months, not nine. I was starting out from zero subscribers and basically nothing. Now we have 5,000 subs, we have a video with over 100,000 views, and we're already monetized. I know those metrics aren't unprecedented or even extreme in any circle of the internet, but YouTube makes it pretty hard for new creators to start out. So I think this is at least proof of concept that I could do this for real. I don't want to sound overdramatic, but having a job entertaining people is something that I've really always wanted and I will work every day to put out content that you will like. As always, like, sub, and hit the bell, and I will see you all in hell. Okay, bye.